Today we're taking a look at two new watches from Cospet, the Tank X2 Ultra and Tank S2. Known for rugged wearables, Cospet aims these models at budget-conscious buyers who loved outdoors. In this video we'll see if they're worth upgrading to or buying as your first rugged smartwatch or smartband. So buckle up, subscribe and let's get into it. Starting with the Tank X2 Ultra, you get the basics. Watch wrapped in a protective sleeve, a USB charging cable and a manual. Pretty straightforward, no surprises here. The S2 box is just as simple. Watch, magnetic charging cable, instruction manual, warranty card and 20mm silicon straps. Snapping on the straps is quick and beginner friendly. Let's dive into the specifics of these two watches. The X2 Ultra has a rugged design with 1.64 inch AMOLED display and curved Gorilla Glass housed in a robust stainless steel body. It's tough, water resistant, 5ATM, IP69K and military standard so it can handle rough conditions but we're not stress testing it here. Now, for smaller wrists, this watch might feel a bit bulky. After two weeks of wearing it, I found the rubber strap, while initially comfortable, gets uncomfortable when worn tight. One consideration to keep in mind is that the strap isn't easily replaceable, as it requires specialized tools, unlike quick change options like the Tank S2. The Tank S2 takes a different approach, blending an 80s inspired design with its 1.32 inch AMOLED display in a TPU body. Yes, TPU might feel less premium but at just 14 grams, the lightweight build is a big plus. The programmable buttons and round screen are nice touches and the comfortable silicon straps make this one ideal for all day use. While it shares the same 5ATM and IP69K ratings as the X2 Ultra, the plastic build might not appeal to those who want a more high-end feel. The X2 Ultra has a really good looking AMOLED display. Colors are sharp and vibrant and readability in direct sunlight is absolutely fine. It obviously has an always on feature which might drain the battery faster but I definitely prefer this turned on. The downside, no auto brightness. When I wore it to bed, every wrist movement lit up the screen. Definitely not ideal for sleep tracking. Navigating the watch is smooth, using familiar from the previous model swipe gestures and the display is responsive overall. The Tank S2 also has an AMOLED display, again, great contrast and vibrant colors. And like the X2 Ultra, it has an always-on mode, but again, lacks auto brightness, which can be annoying when wearing it to track sleep. Despite these issues, the display performs well in daily use, offering the quality you expect from an AMOLED panel. Both watches use the Cospet Fit app, which is familiar from previous models. It's quick to set up on both iOS and Android, though Android users need to deal with more permission requests. Typical Android experience. A highlight is the ability to manage both watches without needing to reinstall or unpair them, making it easy to switch between them. Customization is decent with over 70 watch faces and the option to upload personal photos. However, many faces lean towards a cartoony aesthetics, not quite matching the premium vibe of the X2 Ultra. The S2 has more fitting round faces, but Cospet could enhance the selection with more professional looking options. Both watches run on Cospet's propriety OS, which is straightforward for fitness tracking but lacks the versatility of a full app store like Wear OS. You'll find the essentials heart rate, SpO2, sleep tracking and even blood pressure with smooth data syncing and detailed activity reports. Both watches pack in 170 sports modes, covering everything from running and cycling to more niche activities. They include auto detection for exercises, but it can take up to a minute to recognize an activity, which is a bit slow. The GPS also takes 10 to 30 seconds to lock onto a satellite, but once locked, it track routes accurately, even if you start exercising beforehand. For step accuracy, I used a tally counter to compare against the X2 Ultra. After 1000 manual steps, the watch recorded 985, pretty good accuracy. I repeated the test with my wife and the X2 Ultra logged 997 steps, almost spot on. In comparison, the Tank S2 undercounted at 944 steps. My wife ran the test again and the S2 counted 933 steps out of 1000, still falling short. We had entered accurate personal data into the apps, but the S2 consistently undercounted, while the X2 Ultra 
Ultra performed more reliably. Adjusting height settings in the app might improve accuracy for the S2 Bot testing both watches as is, the X2 Ultra clearly came out on top. Overall, both watches benefit from built-in GPS and solid step tracking, but the Ultra is better suited for those who prioritize precise fitness data. I compared heart rate measurements from both watches with the medical pulse oximeter. The Ultra matched the oximeter results closely, and the S2 was also almost spot on. For the SpO2 measurements, both watches delivered nearly identical results to the oximeter. In terms of sleep tracking, both watches performed well during my testing. While they provide only basic sleep data, the total sleep duration was fairly accurate when compared to the Rinkan Gen 2, known for its exceptional sleep tracking. I also tested the blood pressure monitors on both watches. The X2 Ultra and S2 provide health insights that are useful for general wellness tracking. For more specific or critical measurements, it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional. Both watches let you make and receive phone calls using a built-in speaker and microphones, but this is only possible when connected to your phone via Bluetooth, and the range is limited to about 8 meters. The tiny speakers are not very loud, even at max volume, but they get the job done. You can receive notifications and, through the app, set up push notification from any app on your phone, as well as enable quick replies to text messages. The X2 Ultra packs a 290mAh battery advertised to last 10 to 15 days of regular use or 50 days on standby. In reality, with always on display and 24-7 health tracking enabled, you'll get about 4 to 5 days. It comes with a USB-C charging cable, which is future-proof for laptops and power bank, but not ideal for older USB-A chargers many of us still use. The magnetic charging cable disconnects easily, making it less convenient, especially on the move. I would prefer a cradle for stability, and offering both USB-A and USB-C cables would be a nice improvement for flexibility. On the other hand, the Tank S2 with a 350mAh battery delivers around 2 weeks with moderate use and 5-6 to six days with everything on, including always on display. The charging cradle is much more reliable than the cable setup, which makes the whole charging experience smoother. Now let's break down the pros and cons of the Cospet Tank X2 Ultra and Tank S2 to help you choose the right fit. If durability and sports accuracy are your main concerns, the X2 Ultra excels in tough conditions with accurate step and health tracking, despite its bulk design. On the other hand, the S2 offers a lighter design, longer battery life and reliable charging, though it slightly undercounts the steps. If comfort and affordability are key, the Tank S2 is a strong option, while the X2 Ultra better suits outdoor enthusiasts needing more accurate tracking. Both deliver solid value. Your decision depends on whether you prioritize durability and performance or comfort and practicality. By the way, Cospet provided these watches for our assessment free of charge, but all the opinions and results are entirely our own and unbiased. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more straightforward, no-nonsense tech reviews. So what do you think? Catch you guys in the next one.